Have you ever wondered how to make really delicious brownies? Well, look at this here, and this here, and over here. Yes, and that is butter. Not cheese. Looks like cheese. That's butter to go in there. You're going to need all these tools. And the first thing you should do, turn on the fire to about low. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to take some butter. And you're going to melt that butter on a low heat. It's 170 grams of butter. Yep. About a stick and a half if you're using sticks of butter. Yeah, don't use that one. Use that one. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna wait for that butter to melt. Yep, low heat. Oh, look, butter has been melted. Takes a while, keep stirring. Don't let the butter burn. Tastes different. And next we're gonna add the sugar. It's a cup and a half of sugar. In this one, I did a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. Mmm, sugar. Keeping the heat on, and we stir, 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 stir. Stir, 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 stir. Yeah, it takes a little while to stir it, but yep, yep. Just, just keep stirring. Yep. I have three hands, by the way. One to hold the camera, one to stir, one to hold the pan. I hope I put music in here, otherwise it'll be really boring. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. That is a tablespoon of vanilla. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we missed a step. Well, we poured in a half cup of cocoa powder. Mmm, cocoa powder. That's how we make brownies. And we mix and mix and mix. And once the cocoa powder's in, you turn off the heat and pour in the flour. Now we switch tools. Because we don't want to mix it too much now. You don't want to aerate it. You just want to gently fold it in there. Gently, I said. Gently, I say. And once all of it is nice and folded in, just wait for it. Alright, now you add three eggs, one at a time, and you mix. Yes, you mix. Yep, and break the yolks. And that was one egg. And then you do it with two more eggs. Yep, you do it with two more eggs. One at a time, mixing them in. Keep on stirring, nice and gently though, you don't want to aerate it too much. Now, you take the chocolate.
We used uh, half a bar of the 100% cacao from Ghirardelli. Uh, we are not sponsored, but yum, Ghirardelli, 100% cacao. I eat the stuff. And once everything is folded in, get some parchment paper and watch this neat trick. You cut the corners so that the parchment paper fits inside of your pan. Parchment paper is the best because it prevents the brownies from sticking inside the pan. And now you take the mixture and you slowly pour. And hopefully you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Yeah, should have told you to do that earlier. Once we get it in all the corners there, yep, nice and smooth like. And if you want your brownie to end up like this, Yay! But it can't look like that yet. We have to actually take our brownie and put it in there. Yep. Take the brownie and put it in there. Take the brownie. Put it in there. Take the... Wait. What happened? Oh, there it is. Yep. Take the brownie and put it in there. Bye-bye. Ooh, look at the brownie. Yay! Now make sure you let your brownie cool for like 15 minutes before you cut into it and another like 5 minutes before you eat it because it's going to be hot. Oh yeah. Do 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 Brownie! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Yeah! Happy birthday to me!